In this video, I'll explain the difference between the long range stance and the short range stance. Now, as a fighter, it's necessary to learn how to box on the inside and also how to box on the outside because you never know when your opponent is gonna push the pace from the outside, make you chase them, or come directly at you and force you to box on the inside. Now, some fighters, like Mike Tyson, are inside fighters by nature. Tyson is naturally aggressive and was often the shorter opponent. So in order for him to land his big punches effectively, he had to get on the inside. Muhammad Ali, on the other hand, was always, if you remember the boxer bounce, on his toes, was a slick, long boxer. He'd move around, make his opponents miss, and land those long-range punches, okay? So in our fight camp workouts, we often like to switch you between long-range and short-range stances to simulate different scenarios and to drill different combinations. I encourage you to follow along with this lesson as you watch this video and also to re-watch this video multiple times to help become comfortable with the technique. Now let's start off with the long-range stance. You will stand a little taller, be on your toes, and be at least an arm's length away from your target. I like to cheat my weight back onto my rear leg a little bit when I'm in the long range stance, and I also like to cheat my hands out a little bit, especially my lead hand, so that I'm in a good position to counter punch. The ones and the twos are our long range punches, and they help keep our opponent away from us. In a long range stance, the key thing to remember is that in order to land your hooks and your uppercuts from the long range, you'll need to close the distance with stepping. So here's an example of a one, two, three from a long range stance. I'll throw the one and I'll have to step forward on my lead foot. I'll throw the two, I'll bring my rear foot with me so that I'm now in a good position to throw that three. Let me show you that example on the bag. I'll start this combination from a long range so that I can land my ones and my twos. And as I throw it, I'll step a little bit with my lead leg. When I throw the two, I'll bring my rear leg with me. And as you can see, I'm much closer to the bag now. And I can land a nice solid hook on the bag. That's your long range stance. That's how to step to get inside to land those shorter range punches from a long range stance. And now for the short range or inside stance. We're going to want to step in so that we're less than one foot away from our target with our weight more evenly distributed. And you're also going to want to widen your stance up a little bit when you're on the inside. You're more vulnerable when you're on the inside, so you'll also want to sit down and put your hands up above your eyebrows in a peekaboo guard. And you want to make sure that your elbows are glued into your body. It's a lot easier to land power punches and body punches from this stance, but remember, it's also a lot easier to get hit. All right, so you're in that short range stance and now being closer to the bag or to your target can make it hard to find room to throw some of your punches at times. So incorporating a drop step is usually gonna help you do that. Here's an example of a four punch combination from a short range stance. What we're gonna throw right here is a four to the body, a six to the head, and then we're gonna find room with the drop step to throw the three and then the two. So you're gonna wanna sit down nice and low. Again, spread your feet out a little bit wider to get a stronger base. Hands are up with your gloves above your eyebrows and your elbows are tucked in. So I'm gonna throw that four to the body, driving that body hook, bring it back, retract, I'll throw that six. Now, when I throw that three, two, when I throw the three, I take a drop step back on my rear foot as the foot lands, the punch lands, then I bring my lead foot with me and now I'm in a perfect range to throw that too. Let me give you a couple more examples of that. Just watch as I do it or follow along. Sitting down, four to the body, six to the head, drop step back with the three, bring the lead foot two, and this time I'll go a little bit faster. I'll throw the four to the body, six, three, two. Four to the body, six, drop step back, Two, I find room for that too. And that's it. Now look, repeat this lesson often and practice in the mirror slow and steady until you get it down. And as always, hit me up in the Fight Camp community if you have any questions on these techniques.